Good morning, Baldwin. My name is Michaela Davick, and I'm here with Andrea Henderson, Riley Kineski, and Emma Dalker. Today is Friday, November 4th, and here are your morning announcements. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated for the following announcements. The impossible question is, on average, we do this every year and a half. What is it? Stay tuned to find out the answer. Any student that still has an elevator key and no longer requires it should return it to the nurse as soon as possible. If you are a senior and wish to see your headshot for the yearbook, then you are in luck. Go to the office for a form and additional information on finding the pictures. There will be a glow dance on Saturday, November 12th in the gym. Tickets are on sale during periods 4, 5, and 6 in the, at the entrance of the South Cafeteria. Tickets are $10 each. Anyone who would like to stay after to work on videos for Video Club is allowed. It is completely optional and is not an official meeting. Now over to Riley for the weather of the day. Riley? Thanks, Michaela. Today we're looking at a high of 45 with a low of 37 and a high humidity of 98%. Looking ahead at tomorrow, it's going to be mostly sunny with only a 10% chance of rain, a high of 63 and a low of 45. Now over to Andrea at the desk. Andrea? Thanks, Riley. We would like to wish the BHS competitive, competitive cheer squad good luck at their competition this Sunday at Bethel Park High School. We would love the support of our Highlander fans as we perform at 348 and 428. There will be a half an hour informational meeting for all those athletes interested in competing as a member of the indoor track and field team on Monday, November 7th at 2.30 in the small gym. The 2016 Powder Puff game will be played on Thursday, November 10th at 7 p.m. Tickets can be purchased for $3 at the door or during lunches on November 9th or November 10th. Discounted tickets can be purchased for $2 with a donation of Avon or Lip Smackers lip balm. Now over to Emma for the sports news of the day. Emma? Thanks, Andrea. First off, the cross-country team is competing in the PIAA State Championship. There will be an open swim next Thursday, the 10th, from 3 to 4.30 for anyone wanting to get into the pool and interested in information about the swimming and diving program for the winter season. Congratulations to the volleyball team for their win at Bethel last night. They won all three sets and are moving on to the Whitfield Championships. Come cheer the girls on at their championship game here at Baldwin tomorrow at 6 p.m. Now let's look at the game winning point and an interview with Coach Mr. Foote. Thanks, Emma. Right now, I'm sitting here with the assistant coach of the girls' volleyball team, Mr. Foote. Mr. Foote, how are you today? I'm great, Stephen. It's good to see you. Nice to see you too, Mr. Foote. And first off, congratulations on last night's win against Bethel Park at Peters Township. Oh, thank you. So what were some of your expectations that you guys had for last night's game? Uh, the expectation to, was the win. Uh, and the girls did exactly everything we'd asked of them. Uh, they went out there with, with great intensity, uh, and they rolled right through Bethel Park. Uh, and we made really quick work of them. It was three sets and we were home. So you guys were going all strong on this one. We sure did. And uh, how are you guys preparing for tomorrow's game? Uh, we're treating today like a regular day. Uh, and tomorrow it's the Whippeal Championship, but it's, a, it's another game for us. And the girls have to go in there and execute everything the, the way they've done all season. And if they keep working hard, we're going to have our third Whippeal Championship come tomorrow night. And who are you versing tomorrow in this game? Uh, at Seneca Valley. Uh, the last time we saw Seneca Valley was in the the state quarterfinals uh, two years ago. Uh, we beat them there, and before that we saw them in the Whippeo semifinals two years ago also, uh, and we beat them there. So uh, we've had some good luck against Seneca Valley. So you guys had like a very strong rivalry against them? Uh, we have, and I think tomorrow uh, we're going to go in there with the same intensity we played with last night uh, and the same energy, and with all the fans that hopefully are going to be there, uh, we're going to have a great night tomorrow. All right, thanks you. Thanks you so much, Mr. Flick, and congratulations on last night's game, and good luck for tomorrow. All right, thank you. Now back over to you guys at the news desk. Thanks, guys. The main course lunch is oven roasted chicken with a side of fries and your choice of milk. The weird holiday for today is King Tut Day. And the answer to the impossible question of, on average, we do this every year and a half, is buy a new cell phone. That's all for the morning announcements. Have a great day, Baldwin.